my god. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. Number 74 on our round the world trip. And we're here at a campsite just on the outskirts of Dakhla. So we had a really good night here, secured from the wind a little bit, hidden away. And we had some really cute neighbors as well, the little kitties. Hello. Yeah, I know. But let me show you guys where we're heading today without the cat. Okay, so we are way down here in Dakhla and we are going to be making our way off the spit and back down the route national one trying to make our way about halfway to the Mauritanian border so we thought that getting all the way to the border of Mauritania would be a little bit of a struggle um, especially as I think the border closes at around 5 p.m. So we weren't going to try and get all the way there and then try and cross the border. So we decided we'd go about halfway and then we can just make an easy day tomorrow, cross the border and arrive in Nuadibu not too late. So guys, please, 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 if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel right now before you continue watching. <laughs> We would really appreciate it. <laughs> so we have about 120 miles to the place where we're aiming to stop. It's already 10.30, so better hit the road. Let's go. Oh, Bumblebee fired up for this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they sort of styled this campsite on a sort of ranch style. Look at this, like with a white picket fence. And some horses all sticking their heads out this morning. <laughs> good morning. Hello, good morning. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen anyone around for the whole morning. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I will jump off. Yeah, okay, let me just drop that. There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, that's another reason why it's good to pay when you arrive because sometimes there doesn't seem to be anyone around when you leave so well already paid them all good to go let's rock and roll Whee! so we're going to start by heading down the spit towards Dakhla and uh, just have a little look at the city of Dakhla see what it's all about see what it looks like we'll grab a couple of bits and bobs grab some groceries and then we'll be making our way off the spit and uh, making our way south it's nice and fresh this morning 22 degrees yeah I've closed my vents on my jacket this morning because yeah it's uh on the border of being chilly and last <laughs> night it was cozy no yes it was cozy Whee! <laughs> Bienvenue à Dakhla. Look at this. Got a nice little statue on the way in. Yeah. Very arty. And a row of palms. And very charming lights. Oh yeah. The street lights, they look amazing. Oh yeah, that's really cute, isn't it? 
it is really cute it's still like half everything is under construction though yes It looks like this is a, an old fort wall. Uh -huh. Look at that, it's like a military base. Wow. I mean, there just seems to be military bases everywhere along this, uh, along this coastline. It's unbelievable. Well, I feel super secure <laughs> with <laughs> all these police controls. And yeah, I'm a little exactly. bit thankful as well that they have so much, so much police control here. Yep, nobody's going to mess with nobody around here with all these guys around. No. But that's what people have told us all across Morocco. Oh, you can walk anywhere you want, anytime. It's safe. It's all good. And you know what? You feel that. You do feel that it's that it it is safe. Everyone is like very friendly. It feels really safe. And yeah, I never felt once like unsafe or awkward or anything like that. Like it was really nice um, visit here. Yeah. So we got our groceries, we've got our fuel, and we have seen as much as we want to of Dakhla. So now we're going to make our way off the spit, get back on the mainland, and make our way south, south, south. <laughs> south, south, south. <laughs> This is the reason why people come to this spit, to Dakhla. It is packed full of kite surfers. It's full of kite surfers. Wow, it's insane, really. You can see probably like 50 kite surfers, maybe even 100 kite surfers out yeah. there. All year round, uh, the perfect wind conditions, really. It's just like perfect little playground for kite surfing. It's super windy. There's no waves, there's like, it's just perfect, look at that. Yeah, wow. I kind of wish that I could kite surf now, but uh, no, we've got our, our motorbike, this is our thing. But it looks super cool, it looks like a really nice place to come. Yeah, it does. If you like kite surfing. Look, we can finally see our destination, Dakar! So we just did our third and final checkpoint at the roundabout to the Dakhla Spit and now we've just hit the road going south and from here there are no more major cities of Morocco and you can see already that the road is way less developed than it was just before the roundabout. What was a really nice big highway is now a sort of semi-crumbling track. It's still okay, but compared to what the highway was like on the other side before Dakhla, yeah. this is pretty much just a straight shot to the border now. Yeah, yeah the temperature is 27 degrees, so not too hot, it's quite pleasant. The sun came out as well a little bit, so it's a really nice atmosphere at the moment. We have some camels ahead, 
<laughs> <laughs> I love them. Yeah. Look at them. Yeah, I'm just coming to say good morning. Good morning, guys. That's cool. That's very cool. Hello. <laughs> so we've got about just under a hundred miles to get to uh, a place that we've seen on iOverlander. Uh, it's basically just a restaurant sort of service area in the middle of this desert and uh, apparently if you ask there they'll let you just pitch the tent next to the restaurant so that's what we've read we're gonna go check it out and see if we'll be all right to stay there for the night another lunch break hiding behind the bike from the intense wind ah it's nice beautiful place it's always nice to pull quite far off the road for a beautiful lunch spot like this and we can just about see still the spit of Dakhla on the other side of the bay over there. Nice. A bit windy, but nice. Unfortunately, at this point, our mics suddenly stopped working for the rest of the day. I guess the combination of the wind and the sand is really not good for electronic equipment. So let us sum up the rest of our afternoon on the road. First, we had to stop to say hi to some camels. Then we came to a beautiful hilly-ish area that made a nice contrast to the endless flats of the desert so far. We saw some more cutie camels. And a whole lot more sand. The wind was really starting to pick up and sand was blowing all over the road and in our faces. So we were very glad to finally see, emerging from the vast nothingness, a sky blue painted cafe sitting alone, ready to welcome weary travellers in with a cup of hot mint tea. Our stop for the night. Abdul, master, Hola. tea master. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, shukran. Shukran. <laughs> shukran. <laughs> the guys in the cafe said, it was fine for us to pitch our tent at the front of their place and uh, we've got this little wall for protection because look at this when we head around the wall whoa it's crazy windy out here coming from the coast just over there so yeah we're just going to set up our 
our camp just here behind the wall we should be all good good evening guys oh my god we're just hiding away it's super windy outside it's like the the wind is just blowing the sand into our face the whole time so we're hiding in our tent now <laughs> even behind this wall we've still got quite a lot of movement of the tent i feel sorry for poor bumblebee out there yes. all alone in the wind <laughs> But we had to have a rest and a little chill out after all of that sun and wind. Because tomorrow we have a big day coming up, crossing into Mauritania. So uh, yeah, we the last day in Morocco yes, tomorrow. Yes, our last oh. day in Morocco. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so it will be really, really exciting tomorrow. And we have to get a good rest because we don't want to stop too late tomorrow. Yep, so we're just going to cook up some noodles and eggs as usual <laughs> and get an early night and an early start tomorrow for the border. Whee! So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comments below. We will see you next time. So the guys from the cafe just came and brought us some biscuits and some wafers and some mango drinks. They just came out and said, oh, do you want some fish? And we said, oh, we're vegetarian. So they said, oh, okay, um, I have some biscuits. We were like, oh yeah, if you have biscuits then. And then they just brought us out a load of lovely stuff. That's really, really nice. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Abdul. <laughs>